Hey guys, today I'm going to be walking through one of our latest remodel projects. This is in the East Moreland neighborhood. Um, it's a beautiful neighborhood, lots of parks, great schools, um, really good access. So let's take a look. So this was a full remodel project. We kind of um, gutted the whole thing, um, did some landscaping outside on the exterior as well as new paint, fresh exterior lighting, a ring doorbell, um, which is always kind of a nice touch, um, new address plate and new front door. Um, I think if you're looking to remodel your house, a new front door goes a really long way. Um, just that one simple change makes your whole house look good. open concept living area dining area and kitchen when we first bought this house um, this was all walled off and um, this wall was further in this way more flush with the wall here um, so it just felt really small and didn't give you the opportunity for things like an island which I know a lot of people love to have um, or a pantry I'll show the floor plan changes that we made um, but yeah really just allow for us to have the pantry, the open concept, the island, and just make it a lot brighter and feel a lot more spacious in here. These tiles I love, they are the Bedrosians Chloe tiles. Um, they have a really handmade look to them and a little bit of color variation, if you can see, which um, gives just a, a nice, more relaxed version of your classic white subway um, and just, I think, warms up this space really nicely. Even when you have you know, a lot of white going on, just those simple variations can bring some depth and some interest to the space. And then here we have a nice living area. All we really did in here was uh, paint. So this is already a really nice space. Um, we also added some new trim. Um, but this little paint on this brick fireplace went a long way. So the flooring in this home is an LVP, a luxury vinyl plank flooring. Um, so it's not actually a hard wood, it's an engineered material, but it's going to be more durable, more long-lasting, um, and greener than a hardwood material would be. And I just think they look really nice. I think this has to be maybe my favorite before and after. Um, when we first bought this house, you would open the door into the cabinet and the cabinet had a cutout where the door would swing in. I'll post a picture of that. But um, moving this wall about a foot back gave us a ton more functional space in here. And then also relocating this shower to the back wall from this side where it originally was um, just made it so that not only do we have enough space for a vanity and um, just to kind of get around, walk around, but you could also totally put some additional shelving in here if you wanted more storage um, as well. So I think this turned out really nice. This house has two bedrooms. Um, we relocated in this bedroom the closet from this wall to this wall. <laughs> to this wall and um, gave it a lot more space. So now we have a giant closet in this room, which who doesn't want a giant closet? And 
And this is the second bedroom in this space. So now we're gonna be entering into the back part of the house. Um, this is kind of your mud area, laundry area, as well as access to a really cool feature in this house that I'm excited to show you. So this is, um, I think, one of my favorite uses of space in this house. Um, because of the way the house was laid out, we just had this uh, little extra bit of side front yard. Um, which, because the house doesn't have a huge backyard, we decided to maximize and really make private and functional for whoever lives here. Uh, Daniel and I actually went to Italy and were inspired by all the courtyards that we saw, the fence courtyards that would be in the middle of the, um, the buildings there, and thought, why not? You know, just because we don't have a backyard doesn't mean we can't have something that functions kind of the same way. So this, I think, is would be a great space to host a barbecue, um, you know, just have your coffee in the morning and have a little bit of privacy from your neighbors. Um, I think it's gonna be a really nice use of the space. A lot better than just, you know, some additional side yard or front yard. And last but not least, your laundry area. We just put some cabinetry here to make it a little more functional and then you also have a door here, which leads to another really small outdoor space that has a little bit of grass. So if you needed to let your dog out, you could totally do that here. Um, and then there's also a parking pad out through this way. So you have your own dedicated parking space. And there's Daniel's car. <laughs> He's zooming in on the Tesla. <laughs> So that's the house. Um, it's, you know, I think it's a, it's not a huge house, but I think it has everything that you would really ever need um, for a two bedroom, one bath house. And I love this neighborhood. This is definitely one of the nicer neighborhoods we've ever done a project in. Um, so if you're in the market, come check it out. List price? Four fifty nine nine. <laughs> Thanks so much. And as always, uh, to see more projects that we've done, or to see our listings, go to dbsportland.com. Thanks.